you want to pick as light as possible, but I don't know no, that particular No, 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 hell no. Right. Not, not light. I mean, you've seen a slayer. Do you think Kerry King plays no, like a pussy? No. No. <laughs> no, he does not. Right. That's, right. Why, that's why I wasn't sure on how to necessarily practice articulation when you're, you know, right. doing trouble. You listen to Cannibal Corpse? Yes. Like Pat? Yeah. That dude, he's, one of my he's a he is a badass. Okay, um, he is not picking as light as possible in yeah, that band. Or pitch really hard. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and it sounds great. Mm -hmm. If he pick, I mean, imagine that band with this, <laughs> but just faster. Right. That, that, that's not metal. Right. Right. That's just you got to hit it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I mean, think about this. You know who Gary Moore is mm -hmm. or Stevie Ray Vaughan? Mm -hmm. Those guys beat the crap out of the guitars, and they're just blues players. Mm -hmm. So why would a metal guy do? I mean, that would be like embarrassing, right? Yeah. If Stevie Ray Vaughan is kicking your ass, mm -hmm. that would that would be I would be embarrassed, mm -hmm. right? So let's. So uh, speaking of Cannibal Corpse, when they do their triplets, down, down, up, down. he does down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Down. I'm not saying I would do that. I'm just telling you what he actually oh, yeah. does. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, yeah. So let's let's hit the notes hard. practicing that like with scale sequences I get you know, you know but when it's that consistent movement to practice the articulation and that way just you know without tensing up yeah okay let's let's without the amp on let's just hear the let's hear you do a treble uh, let's say on the A string just a single note maybe a fretted note Can you hit it? Can you hit it harder? Okay. Now, can you go faster? Okay. So that's still pretty hard. Yeah. Get, getting this getting tight there. Tires okay. Out. Let's try this. <laughs> to recover. You, when you go too light, it turns into slop because the, the, the pick is kind of just flapping against the string instead of hitting the string, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And sometimes it's just a matter of keeping the pick a little bit lower down in the trenches more versus having it up here where it's just barely brushing against the string. Mm -hmm. like when people say pick light, sometimes they're not using the right term for what they're trying to describe. Okay. What they really are saying is take the pick out of the trench and just brush along the top of the string. Mm -hmm. right? That's another way of picking light. But they're not necessarily using less force. Mm -hmm. It just sounds weaker because the pick is glossing over the top of the string, so it sounds like a lighter attack. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So in that case, it's like I'm not using a lot of, I'm still using a lot of force, but the pick is out of the trenches and just going over the string. So it's, it's kind of sloppy. It sounds like I just 
start to pick, now I just start to tip down. And now the pick is deep in the trench now. See now, same, same power in the arm. When the pick is out of the trench, it's just, it's just going, it's just, it's just riding over the string. Force, but it sounds heavier because the, the, the more meat of the pick is down in the string. Okay. Makes sense? If it doesn't sound mean enough, then you either got to stick the pick down in the trench farther, or you just got to hit it harder, or both. Okay. All right. Makes sense? Just, I guess uh, just one thing uh, when you're practicing that for speed, like just to increase the speed, that, would it just be like any, like any, the way you practice speed for anything else? Yeah, you, you build it up. Mm -hmm. You build it up, like you said, you were warm up into that speed, you do that. You might do other things like just total fast, but then you break, right? You know, stop, start, stop, start, stop, you can do that too at high speeds. Okay. Because okay, that kind of resets your arm to relax, and you also ultimately want to train it to relax as much as possible.